hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so again this is section 5.5 and we were talking about the pulse waveform operations okay so this is question number 28 which has been employing the concept of the pulse waveform operations and what do we have to do the output of the logic circuit and input waveform in figure 5.59 is passed through an inverter okay so uh, this is basically the inverter and it has been passing through this circuitry okay so what do we have to do we have to draw the output waveform okay so this is a uh, waveform of the inputs and uh, again what do we have to do again we have to slice them according to their changing edges so the first edge is here the second one is here because now this second waveform has been changing its level the third one is here okay fourth one is here fifth one here this is the sixth one and so on okay so uh, after finding all the edges uh, here and all the instances where any of the input levels has been changed we have to find that uh, instances okay so prior to this what do we have to find out we have to find out the output of this circuit so therefore it is mandatory that we should find the expression for it okay so what sh should be the expression so let me use it here so uh, here what would be the output it will be we can see that a, a is applied b is applied uh, a is uh, complemented by using this bubble here b is complemented by this bubble and this is now passed through this or circuit so here we will have a complement plus b complement okay so now this a complement plus b complement and this b okay this is here b these two are applied to this second nor gate and here at the output of it what would we get we would get a complement plus b complement okay this is the first input then or of the second and then as this is a nor operation so here it will be complemented okay so we can see that here what input do we have here so here we have two inputs a to b and the two output uh, and a single output which is a complement plus b complement plus b and whole complement so let me write it here so it is a it is a complement plus b complement plus b and the whole complement of it okay so this is the same expression and this is x so now let me use the de morgan's law so applying de morgan's law here what would we get we know that according to the de morgan's law if we have this expression a plus b whole complement so it will be the complement of the first term complement of the second term and the operation here will be inverted if this is the addition it will be multiplication here and vice versa okay so here applying the same concept what will we get we would get a complement complement similarly the second entry here and that is b complement and the complement of it and the third entry here which is only b so complement of it and we can see that here these are the additions so therefore it will be the multiplication here okay uh, by seeing it here we can see that this is the complement of a complement here complement of a complement and complement basically cancel the effect of the other complement so therefore the complement of a complement is basically no complement so here we will get a dot b dot b complement okay so this is what this is x or uh, we can see that this is the expression which is applied here okay but here in order to see the output of it we can see here very easily that this is b dot b complement and according to the boolean's algebra we know that x dot x complement is always equal to zero okay so uh, using it here what i will get i will get a dot zero which will ultimately give me zero and that is the value of x here okay so this is the output and we know that prior to the application of the any inputs we can see that whatever the inputs are the output here will be equal to what that would be equal to zero okay so let me use it here and we will see that if this is a level so output of it will always remain what it will always remain zero here okay because this is a zero so that is what this is the waveform for x okay so i think you have grasped the concept that how can we find out the uh, output of any gate if different pulses are applied here and in previous question which were 
uh, which was basically the question 29 we have discussed the same thing because uh, there we had some logic expression and uh, first we found out some logic expression of a circuit and then we had applied the inputs which were in the form of a and b okay so i think it's enough for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video take care of yourself and i will see you soon